So why don't you tell everybody what's different about yours than some most traditional kite lines that are out there? Most of the kite lines use swivels for the long in the middle and the short. We use swivels only on the short typically. And that, that allows uh, the kite line to be 100% straight strength through that long clip especially. The, the long clip's the critical one because that's where you would use the tiniest swivel. Our clips are 1 16th hole, 1 8th hole, 3 16th, and 1 quarter. So for instance, uh, if you wanted to, if you only had a number one clip and a spare and a spare clip, and you needed a number two, you just drill a sixteenth. I mean, an eighth inch hole instead of the sixteenth. You now have. We make them kind of easy numbers so that you can create your own diameters. But anyways, these kite lines are made with the marks that will stop those clips. So obviously, the mark diameter has to be in between the two sizes. The other thing that makes that really good, guys, on the light windy days, the days when the wind is real light, all that terminal tackle, all those swivels adds to the weight of the kite and sometimes can keep the kite from really flying the way we want it Elevating, to fly. Elevating, yeah, and that's part of why I got into building those clips because they weigh a lot less than a black clip with a metal tension screw and a metal arm. And so ours have synthetic tension screw and synthetic arm. And the multiple I mean, no swivels arm. to yeah. stop it where it needs to be stopped based yeah. on how they work. Well, the floss marks on our long and middle and a swivel on the short. Yeah. Yep. Cool.